is about souls. It's not about how I feel. It's not about how I think. There are days I don't feel like being here. But the, the, the zeal for God and his people, I understand why I need to be there. Amen. Amen. It's not easy. It's terrible. There are days it's terrible. Your body, I never have time for myself. I have no life except you. <laughs> My life is to serve you. I'm your servant. Every day I wake up, I'm consumed by, Lord, what do you want to say for, to them? Lord, what can I do for them? How can I better pray for them? Lord, how can I do this? Can, can that is the better. life of a man of God. Not my feelings and how I want to know. What am I assigned? To the point that it costs my own family time. Say it again. Do you know how many times I've come home, my son will not see me for a whole week? Yes. Not see me. Because by the time I get home, he's asleep. By the time I leave, he's, he's still sleeping to go to school. It's hard. It's difficult. But it's a sacrificial life. Amen. It is a sacrificial life. Amen. It is not, don't be fooled by my nice dressing and you think I'm enjoying life. I am because there's no greater privilege than to serve God Amen. who doesn't need us. Amen. Amen. Why would he need somebody like me? So it's a privilege in that sense. But there is a human side of my life that I have no life. There are things I want I will never have. And there are things that I want will come later. I don't have anything for myself. Everything is for you. Show me one man of God in scripture that lived for himself. There's no such thing. To walk in the power of God, you are literally a living sacrifice. There's nothing for you anymore. My full enjoyment, 100% will be in heaven. Here, you are just laboring. Your joy is to see somebody prosper, lifted, delivered, increased. Yeah. That is your joy. You are living to see other people Excel. That's right. That's you will become a billionaire. Go out. I will still be here cheering for you. You will be flying in your jet, living in your mansion. That is my joy that you have made it. And I am okay with that. I have accepted that. Not, Lord, what about me? No. I am taken care of. But guess who will be greater and better? You. You, you'll be sleeping and fighting your war. You'll be wanting breakthrough. I'll pray for you. God will open doors. 80% of you won't even remember. You'll forget. Because it's human nature. It's not even your fault. If God has to remind the children of Israel, I'm taking you to the promised land. Do not forget the Lord your God. What about a human being? you forget. You have no idea how many people God has used me to bring them from nothing. They become something and they forget. For them to show up to church, and my thing is I won't call you, I won't look for you. That's not how I work. I don't need anything from anyone. But you see people forget. Then when trouble comes, then they remember to come back. That is the life of a man of God. You are a big time babysitter. That's really what it is. You help this one, they feel good, and then when they are bad, then they come back. No one will call you and say, how are you doing? I'm just checking on you. How is your family? How is everything? No one is checking on you. Every time people see you, they see where their needs will be met. Yes. 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 It's, it's a big burden. It's not easy. It's true. It takes a lot to be built for that. So don't be quick to serve God. Allow God to prepare you. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the more reason... You ought to pray for me. Remember me in prayer. Pray for me. Pray for me. Amen. Whenever you pray, mention me before God. Amen. Ask God to strengthen me, to empower me. Me and Bishop, sometimes I don't know how to respond to Bishop because Bishop will message me and say, you know my zeal. I want to do this. Let's just pray. I don't even know how to respond to him because even me, I'm on the same boat. We are still fighting to figure out what more can we do for God. What more? Yet other people will be in this position and they are comfortable. It's, it's the... Oh. Yes. Yes. Come on. <laughs> Yet for us, we are still burning. We don't know what God, what can we do more? Lord, how better can we serve you? My bishop has planted hundreds of churches, mentored hundreds of people. He's still burning, still asking at this time, 
what more can I do? I feel like I'm not doing enough. I'm like, Bishop, you're running a whole school. <laughs> you, oh, oh. Bishop. <laughs> are, are you understanding? Everyone on my leadership are people that are consumed by the work of God. Every day, there's a group of people that meet to pray for the church, to pray for me, to intercede for all of you. We just don't tell you this. We are consumed by making sure that God brings you to where you're supposed to be. Amen. Amen. This is not easy. You need God to help you to carry out his assignment. Amen. Amen. May God give you the grace to be an intercessor. I Amen. Receive. Grab your Bibles quickly because of time. Matthew chapter 11.